All right, guys, we made our way to the central exhibit hall here at the World of Concrete 2023, and we're in the Cement Tech booth with Mark Reinhardt. I know you guys, uh, a lot of our listeners, we have plenty from the volumetric side of the business, um, and Mark's here to talk about the newest unit that they brought to the show and the new technology that it has on it. Thanks for joining us, man. You bet. Thanks. Well, yeah, this is our uh, actually celebrating our 5,000th unit that we uh, we've manufactured. Uh, we've been around for 53 years uh, building volumetric concrete mixers. So this is our, our 5,000th one and we, we decided to put all the technology on it that we have here. So some new, some new options that we, we're releasing here at the show. Um, this has full moisture sensors uh, built into the conveyor belt, uh, which is a unique factor that actually will adjust the water on the fly. Uh, based upon the material, the moisture that's in the sand and the stone. Uh, we actually have a now a cement flow sensor here as well. So if you would run out of cement powder, it shuts down the machine uh, to avoid any, any bad concrete potentially coming out of the unit there. Uh, this has a full liquid color system on it too, so you can do really precise colored concrete work uh, with this unit uh, as well. Also has a hydraulic cement bin, which allows you to do a half sack mix all the way up uh, to a seven, eight bag mix, uh, all with this cement delivery system. So all this is then incorporated into our AccuPore touch software in the back. So fully automated mixer, uh, all the, in, the admixtures, the uh, water are, is all controlled by the computer. And then here's where you'd load your mix design the gates will automatically move to the to the exact required height uh, for that specific mix. And basically you get it ready, you hit the start button and it starts mixing concrete. So as with any volumetric mixer, all the materials converge here at the end and 10 to 15 seconds later, you have fresh concrete coming out. Awesome, awesome. So as far as the amount of R&D that went into a lot of these uh, technical advancements, and, and I will say I was, uh, Pretty surprised and impressed the fact that you have uh, moisture sensors in your sand bin, this automatic cement shutoff, that's all great. Uh, how much of these advancements are coming from the industry, coming to you saying, hey, we need this, this, and this, um, and then as far as you pretty much giving the consumer what they want, what's that R&D process look like? How long, I guess, did it take you to come up with, with this unit? Yeah, we're just, I mean, we're taking feedback from our customers all the time on, on what they need. You know, we're trying to, to, to automate this process as much as possible. You know, with volumetrics, depending on the material, the moisture of the sand and the rock will cause the operator to have to mess with the water levels here. So if we can remove that factor in another area that an operator may make a mistake, you know, and automate it and let the computer do the work, that's ultimately what we're looking for because it's hard enough to find a driver to drive anything right now, <laughs> right. more or less a mobile concrete plant. Right. So, you know, we're trying to use the intelligence uh, of the computer to, to try to eliminate as many potential mistakes. So it's the feedback from the customers that we get to then it goes into this, these developments. And, you know, always trying to have something for World of Concrete is new to, new to show off. Um, this also does have a camera package, so we now have full five cameras all around the unit uh, with a monitor up in the front uh, okay. to be able to, to monitor the uh, the driver as well as help them uh, see around the truck as well. And then we have a new chute that we released on that one that flips up that allows you to pour into a pump easier Okay. Uh, without having to remove the, the beginning chute. Uh, now it just pulls it up out of the way and then you can pull it back down if you're just pouring standard concrete okay. as well. Again, another another feature that was kind of requested from our customers and we actually implemented and, and rolled out this this show great great and now uh, for our listening audience that doesn't uh, that aren't as familiar with the volumetric trucks uh, what's your standard volume that you can carry in a volume volumetric truck so we make mixers from a three yard capacity which just means you can pour three yard batches without having to reload on a trailer all the way up to a 14 yard unit on a trailer or on a truck chassis so most volumetric typically are around this eight to ten yard size uh, that you'll see you know from any anybody that produces them mm -hmm. um, this is our most common unit we sell about 80 percent of the units we make okay. are the 10 yard c60 computer units right right okay yep. now and, and as far as the benefits of volume metric versus your standard ready mix truck uh, obviously it has to be remote locations and areas that are far away from concrete plants because you're literally mixing on site 
Um, do you have a cool story to share with us? The, what's the furthest away, most re remote location you guys uh, you, you guys have had a truck? Uh, we've got pictures of one of our trucks pouring in the Arctic Circle. That's awesome. So that, <laughs> that's there. I think we're operating, we've got trucks operating in 72 different countries. So awesome. each one has probably a unique story and, and you know applications for putting a truck on a barge and going out to pour in, in the middle of a, a lake. Uh, a lot of cool stuff you can do with this because it is so portable and so flexible. Right, right. Yeah, the, vers the versatility is awesome. And you'd mentioned that you can put these systems not, not just on a truck, but you can put them on trailers or... Um, you can put them in a stationary environment. So just you could put it on a skid base. We have guys that are just using volumetrics to load drum trucks. And then the drum trucks go out and deliver the concrete gotcha. at that point too, because it makes everything right on the spot, no waste. You can do unlimited mix designs all with a, a unit that can drive away. Right, and as far as the versatility of mixes go, um, I remember back when you guys had maybe one admix tank, or now you have several color tanks, several admix tanks. You know, yep. how how versatile can you guys get with the mixes coming out of one particular truck? It, yeah, so right now, typically you have, we'll have three liquid tanks. Uh, you could also do admix with this col the color systems that we have. It's just you know as concrete grows and expands and evolves, you know we've we've got to evolve our trucks to meet up with the the current demands and needs of a specific application or mix design that's required. Right. So we've got to find new ways to do things. You know the whole carbon piece. Now we're working with some companies of how to how do we inject carbon into the volumetric mixer that then could potentially reduce 10% of the, the cement powder going into it. Right. Um, it is a more of an environmental benefit that you know that we already have now, I think a tremendous environmental impact with us, with the zero waste, less water, less emissions right. with volumetric mixers. Um, so yeah, it's keeping up with the industry is what we have to do to stay on top. Right, right. Well, you guys are doing a great job with it from, from everything that I can see. Um, your, your trucks look amazing and the technology that's in them is certainly innovative and that's what we like to highlight here on our Add 10 Gallons Concrete podcast page. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, we'll continue to walk the floor and bring you everything that's cool and noteworthy here at the World of Concrete 2023.